This video is about using the sine rule to find sides. What is the sine rule? Well, this is the sine rule here, which is given in your formula booklet. And whenever we use it, we only use two parts of it. Now, what do all the symbol means? Well, all the little symbols are sides of a triangle, and the capital letters are the angles. And they're the angles opposite the side with the same letter. Okay, let's look at this question here. So what have we got? Well, we've got this pair of working and this pair. So if you can make a cross like I've done between all the, the values you have, then you use the sine rule. So first, let's write down the sine rule. It doesn't sort of matter which side we go for. So A over sine A equals B over sine B. Sub our values in. So I'm going to call A this one here, the value I need to get. So A is X sine of big A, so that's the side, that's the angle opposite to the side, so that's 29, is equal to B, so this will be B, 32, and this is the angle opposite, so sine 77. Now to solve any equation, I need to get X on its own, so I'm going to multiply everything by sine 29, so that this goes on the top on the other side. So what am I left with? I'm left with X is equal to 32 sine 29, over sine 77. Now I can put that all into my calculator. Just remember brackets, etc., to make sure you get exactly what you need. And if you do this, you're going to get 15.92198, etc., etc. And then to three significant figures, that would be 15.9 millimeters.